I'm excited to do this video. Cheers, we're gonna take a shot. Mm. I'm not a chocolate chip cookie type of girl. No ma'am, but not on a cookie. Swirl, okay? I was funny all with that part. That sounds disgusting. I saw somebody said that, and I said, well, Crumble obviously knew what they was doing. Topped with a sprinkle. Not in my taste bud category. Absolutely not. Oh, it makes the back of my throat tingle. And I was very dissatisfied with it. It was distasteful. But the part that threw me off, which I was right, I'm not an almond frosting type of girl. Ever. Ever. Baby. Equivalent. Perfect. It's literally what they say. To me, it gives Dunkin' Donuts strawberry sprinkled donuts. If I'm being honest, respectfully. Hey friends, welcome back to our channel where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, watching another video. If you are new to my channel, welcome, come here. Hey, my name is Christina. Nice to meet you to my amazing supporters. Welcome back to another amazing video, another crumble lineup, you guys. I'm excited to do this video y'all okay i got my cookie right here i got my milk right here before we get into it today is monday february 27th it's currently 6 10 p.m i'm excited y'all because i think this is the first monday in a long time i've actually gotten a chance to film a crumble video this early so i'm pretty excited about it i'm gonna kind of do it mukbang style to be honest y'all because <sighs> I'm gonna give y'all my honest feedback of the lineup, but I only tried one cookie. I know y'all see like two extra boxes right here, but these boxes are just for props, just for aesthetics. They was just for the thumbnail, baby, okay? I only got one cookie, so we gonna get straight into it. I don't want this video to be too long, especially since I'm only trying one cookie this week, y'all. So cheers to a new crumble lineup. Fair Life Milk, if y'all never tried it, make sure y'all try it, it's the bomb. So about to pour up. And the challenge in this video is I'm gonna see how much milk I'm gonna need to get through this cookie. Okay, so I'm gonna reveal to y'all the cookie that I decided to try, or I guess when I get to it, I'll tell y'all what it's called. But I'm about to start, and like I said, I'm gonna do this mukbang style because I'm only trying one cookie. So while I'm eating it, I'm gonna go through each like other cookies that is on the lineup this coming week. And yeah, so cheers, we're gonna take a shot. A shot of milk, okay? <laughs> All right, so cheers, okay? Mm. All right, so the first cookie on the line up is milk chocolate chip. Milk chocolate chip is one of them that's always on there. Self explanatory, it's a classic. Like they say, you can't go wrong. Thick, soft, and packed with milk chocolate chips. I'm not a chocolate chip cookie type of girl. It was an M&M cookie on the other hand. Certainly, but it's milk chocolate chip, which, mm, if you've tried the milk chocolate chip one before, comment down below and let me know what you think of it. The next one on the line of y'all, which, to me, this was a shocker. Like, this was very, very, very shocking. That's why I couldn't pick it. I was having mixed feelings about it, and I said, baby, no, ma'am. Crumble, no, ma'am, okay? <laughs> so this one is called Maple Bacon. Now, I'm a, I'm all for maple bacon, maple bacon, but not on a cookie, just not on a cookie. So I'm gonna describe the lineup. It says a fluffy, okay? I liked the fluffy part. Everybody like a fluffy cookie. Like, who don't want a fluffy cookie, right? Buttermilk cookie, right? That sounds amazing. A fluffy buttermilk cookie. I was feeling y'all at that part. Swirled, okay? I was feeling y'all at that part with thick maple frosting. But where y'all lost me at crumble was the sprinkle. The sprinkle, baby of real crispy bacon bits and a drizzle of maple syrup. That sounds disgusting. 
So guess who didn't try it? Me. Now, no disrespect to anybody else's taste bud, but mm -mm. now, if you tried this, please comment below and let me know what you think of it. I saw somebody said that they've been waiting months to try this maple cookie. I mean, this maple bacon cookie, they've been waiting a long time for it to come back. And I said, well, Crumble obviously knew what they was doing if they took that long to bring it back. So comment below if you tried this one, but my thought of it, just the thought of it. Now, if it's maple bacon on breakfast, if it's buttermilk waffles with breakfast and some maple bacon, I'm all for it. But on a cookie, no ma'am, no thank you. Next one is the one that I'm eating, y'all. Y'all know pink is my favorite color. Oops, pink is literally my favorite color. So anything pink, automatic win, somewhat. So this one is called the Pink Donut. And it's a soft vanilla cookie topped with a sprinkle, wait, with a pink glaze. Okay, okay, okay. I gotta just wear this one. It says a soft vanilla cookie, y'all, topped with a pink glaze and a splash. A splash, y'all, a splash of rainbow sprinkles and a hole just like a donut. Y'all, I love this cookie. Mm. <laughs> I forgot to bring a napkin in here. I'm gonna tell y'all what I read it at the end, but that's the pink donut one. And that's the only one I chose to try. Now the next one is a brownie batter. Now, don't get it twisted. Hold on, y'all. <sighs> don't get it twisted. I am a brownie type of girl. I do like brownies, right? But the way this was described, it wasn't given how I like my brownies. So, I said, no ma'am. I ain't wanna try it. So, it says a thick, and delicious treat. Sounds good, sounds good, sounds good. Thick and delicious, that's an amazing combo. <laughs> that's an amazing combo. Anyways, thick and delicious treat crafted with chocolate brownie batter and semi-sweet chips. Now for me, I don't recall like usually when I eat brownies, if I have like, like having chocolate chips in there, so that was just a no-go for me. Like, I wasn't open to trying it, but if you tried the brownie batter, comment down below. Or if you will be open to trying any of these cookies that I listed, comment down below. But I wasn't open to trying that one. Y'all know I'm not a chocolate cookie type of girl. Like, I'm just not. A brownie, yes, I'll eat a brownie, but a brownie batter cookie, no ma'am, absolutely not. So the next one, y'all, and this, mm-mm, this, Mm -mm. Not, not in my taste bud category. Absolutely not. And this one, oh, it makes the back of my throat tingle just reading the, the name of it. It says mint chip ice cream. Mint chip ice cream. First of all, I don't like mint ice cream. And then chip in the ice cream. I don't like chocolate ice cream. So it just all that threw me for a loop. Now, when I started off reading the description where it says a sugar cookie, the sugar cookie caught my attention. I was like, okay, maybe it's not that bad, but it says with semi-sweet chips, smooth mint, chip mousse, and an artful dollop of whipped cream, no ma'am. Now, if you are a mint type of person where you like mint flavored stuff, like I have a friend that likes peppermint ice cream and stuff like that, cool, you might like this cookie. But as for me, no ma'am, no thank you. So I did not try that. And then the last one was a classic pink sugar. I told y'all I had this cookie one time and I was very dissatisfied with it. It was distasteful. I didn't like it. It says an all time favorite of another sugar cookie topped with a pink soup of real almond frosting. Now, it being a sugar cookie caught my attention. But the part that threw me off, which I was right when I tried it, I tried it off camera though. Maybe one day I'll try it on camera for y'all. 
But I tried it on camera, baby. I mean, I tried it off camera and the almond frosting threw me for a loop. No, ma'am, I like almond, but I'm not an almond frosting type of girl. So if you tried this before, comment down below and let me know what you think of it. But I didn't think it was great. So now it's time for my honest opinion for the pink donut, y'all. The pink donut was donuting. Y'all see, I'm almost done. I'm on the last bite. Literally, on the last bite. The pink donut was donuting. Y'all, if y'all ever, 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 baby, hair. Hold on, y'all, I need some milk. Cheers. Excuse me. All right, y'all. If y'all ever go to Dunkin' Donuts and get the donut with the, a strawberry donut with sprinkles, equivalent, literally equivalent. The texture of the cookie is soft, it's moist, it's not too sweet. Like it's literally perfect. It's literally what they say. It says a soft vanilla cookie. So just the same way the donut like from Dunkin' Donuts is soft. This cookie was like equivalently soft, like just as it should be. With a pink glaze, a splash of rainbow sprinkles, and a hole just like a donut. So to me, it gives Dunkin' Donuts strawberry sprinkled donuts. And I would give it a 12 out of 10 because I really liked it. And I actually finished it. Excuse me. As y'all could see, so. I think it was a 10 out of 10. But that's pretty much my review for this week lineup. I don't think this lineup was that good. If I'm being honest, respectfully, Crumble. Y'all didn't target my taste buds this week. And that's okay. We still cool, we still friends. I would still try y'all again. I'm not gonna say that I would never try y'all again. I'm not gonna say that because I would. But if this was my first week trying, y'all, I don't know. I would have to think twice before I come back next week. But I know St. Patrick's Day is coming up. And y'all going to come really good with the lineups to come. So I'm not tripping about it. But thank y'all for watching this video. Cheers to the worst lineup I ever seen, Crumble Head. Because this wasn't good to me. But that pink donut was amazing. Make sure y'all try it. I liked it. I enjoyed it. And I think that's pretty much all I got for y'all in this video. And I guess because I finished the whole cookie, I needed more milk than usual. But that was amazing, y'all. So comment below what y'all think. Comment below y'all input, y'all feedback, all that. And... That's pretty much it. That's all I got for y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Hopefully Crumble will make a comeback next week on their lineup. But that is all I have for you guys. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I'm going to see y'all in the next video where I inspire your desire to be great. To be great. To be great. Bye.